Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do with the OnePlus Nord. The first thing I want to show you um, is about the navigation. As you can see, I have here the navigation bar, but you can steer the phone also with gestures. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, then go here to the settings with that symbol. Then we will need here the point button and gestures. And then we will need this point here, navigation bar and gestures. So you can decide between the regular navigation bar or between um, the navigation gestures. If you tap on the gestures, uh, you will see some instructions here, how it works. Huh? And uh, yeah, let me show you right now how it works. So if you want to go back, just swipe from um, the side to the middle. Um, if you want to go back to the home screen, just swipe from down to the middle. And if you want to have to resend tabs, so just swipe from the middle down hold it, leave it, and you will have the recent open tabs and so on. So, and you see this little bar here, if you swipe the bar, you will have also um, access to the recent tabs and so on. So a nice feature. The next feature I want to show you is about uh, quick gestures because you can set up uh, some uh, letters and uh, uh, if you uh, draw an M, you can open immediately Google Maps uh, from the standby uh, mode. So uh, very nice, um, no? or for video maybe on YouTube. So then we are immediately in, in YouTube or to open the camera. I've set up an O to open the camera. Uh, so a nice feature. Okay, let me show you how you can set up this feature. So just scroll down here. Then we have here the symbol for the settings, tap it. Then we will need here the buttons and gestures. And here we will have the quick gestures. Tap it. And uh, here you have the letters you can draw to have some actions. So um, if you uh, uh, if you have uh, if you draw maybe the O, I've uh, chosen to open the camera, but you can also open the front camera maybe or uh, choose another app, no? and uh, maybe like Facebook if you draw an O or something like this. Um, a W for WhatsApp maybe is interesting, or an M for uh, Maps and so on. You can set it up by your own, uh, whatever you want to have, but a very nice feature, I think. And uh, yeah, the next point I want to show you is uh, the camera here. Maybe you are disturbed by the front cam here. Um, and you can set it up. So let's go back one step, another step to be back in the main settings. Then go here on the point display. Then go here on the point advanced. So then we will need to point front camera display area. Because you can darken here. Uh, this side um, to hide the camera. So if you choose the second point here, as you can see, the camera holes are disappeared here. Huh? So it depends on you. I will continue here with the camera because it doesn't disturb me. It's up to you. And uh, let me show you the next thing. If we go back another step here, you have here the refresh rate of um, the screen. Uh, actually, we have 90 Hz is the maximum the phone supports, which one makes the action on the screen very smooth and so on. Um, but to save energy, uh, you could choose also the regular um, 60 Hz mode because many apps may, uh, are just uh, supporting the 60 Hz and um, you have no advantage to have to use the 90 Hz and so on. So um, that would uh, save energy and save our planet. So. Um, let's choose 60 Hz then. And uh, if you go back, go back another step, we have uh, in the display settings another point um, to uh, save a bit energy um, and uh, to make the phone also comfortable. Um, here the uh, uh, slim type, uh, the, the screen timeout. Um, I would recommend to you uh, one minute because it's not too less, it's not too much. Um, and um, yeah, two minutes I have just actually enabled to show you some things better and so on, to explain some things. I would recommend to you one minute because it's not too less and not too much. And uh, But I show you now something else about the power button because if you want to off the phone, uh, you just use the power button basically on the phone, but if you use it here, you have the Google Assistant. Um, if you want to off the phone, uh, if you want to off the phone, you need the power button and the volume up button. If you press these both buttons for the same time, you have the regular power menu. But you can set up the power button that, that you have always this power menu. If you hold it longer, if you don't need the Google Assistant, 
then uh, let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here, go to the settings, then go to button and gestures. And the last point is here, press and hold the power button. And here you can change from the voice assistant to the basic power menu. And if I hold now the power button longer, I'm immediately at uh, the mode to power off the phone. Yeah, and apropos power off, um, you can schedule also the power off time. The, the phone turns off automatically because this saves also energy. So scroll down here, go to the settings. I think you know this already very well. And uh, then we need to go to the point utilities. Uh, it's in the last part here. Utilities, and then we have here the point scheduled power on off. Okay, um, you can schedule a power on time, uh, so when the phone should start automatically. But more important is the power off time because, to be honest, if we are sleeping, we don't need our smartphone, and may you forget sometimes to off your smartphone and uh, are disturbed in the night by. Um, you can set up that it's turned that it turned off automatically. I get me here. You can set up the time. And um, yeah, and if you want also, you can set up a power on time that it turns on uh, at a certain time automatically. Now the next mode I want to show you is uh, if you go back one step here, we have this point parallel apps because you can clone apps. You can use two WhatsApp accounts. You can use two Facebook accounts, two Instagram accounts on the same phone. So if you tap it here, you will see here all the um, um, apps which one are supported by. Ne? So I have installed you already something. Um, may let us also clone WhatsApp here. And if it's marked blue, it's cloned already. I have prepared already. And um, let me show you how it looks like. Ne? So we have two Instagram accounts here and two WhatsApp accounts. And by the way, to recognize always the second app is uh, the orange mark here at the corner. I don't know if you see that. Um, May you also messenger. This is the basic messenger account. This is the second messenger account here. And you see also the orange mark here um, at the corner. So this is the second app. And you can have really a separate account from the first one. And especially it's interesting for WhatsApp because you have two uh, SIM cards. You can insert two SIM cards. And that means you have two numbers. So you can, to have, you can have two WhatsApp accounts if you want to have. May one for work and one for the private stuff. Okay, and maybe you are watching this video at the evening or the night, then it's better, better to enable the night mode. So let me show you what it is. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. You can enable here the night mode if you're tapping it and you can see the, the phone is turning into another color. It's a blue light filter, so it's, it protects the eyes. And uh, yeah, reduce also the stress and so on, and you have less problems to sleep, and you should really try this. And by the way, you can use this feature also on the day. Um, but let me show you um, something, how you can set up it uh, more detailed. So for that, just go to the settings. Then we will need to go to the point display. And here we will have night mode. Yeah. First of all, you can change the color temperature and as more warm it is as more and um, the phone is taking out the blue light so it's better it is for the eyes but it's um, I have to get used to but after one or two days you don't see it anymore but it's good for your eyes also at the day as I'm telling you and uh, to have it as a real night mode you can also choose the uh, brightness here ne? as more dark it should be because if it's too bright in the evening uh, you know, if everything da is dark around you and the screen is very bright, it disturbs your eyes also. So you should um, make it a bit more dark then. Uh, but you can remove it on the day and if you want. And uh, yeah, you can turn on this mode also automatically. Now if I turn it off here, you can turn it on automatically. And what's very nice, you can set it up that it's um, going uh, on at the sunset and t it's turning off at the sunrise. So the phone will recognize it by the time and will turn it on and turn it off um, automatically. Very nice. Yeah. The next feature will support also your eyes. I want to show you. It's always the last one already. So we have our three, nine things. So let's come to the number 10. Uh, it's the reading mode. Scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and on the second page, 
by the way, there's also some stuff. Huh? Uh, we will need right now here the reading mode and uh, we can choose here the chromatic effect um, and the mono effect, so black and white, that's uh, the mono effect here. But the chromatic effect, that's um, also, a, it has a blue light filter as well included and uh, it's comfortable and so on. Um, especially if you're reading ebooks or um, articles uh, in the web browser and something like this. And what is very nice, you can set um, this feature up um, also here at the settings. Then let's go here to the point display and here the point reading mode. And here, uh, if it's, uh, let me turn it off, um, you can uh, set it up that it's that it's turned on at uh, some apps automatically. So may if I um, add here the Chrome browser, because we read always the newspaper, but you can choose also if you want to have the chromatic or the mono effect, I would recommend you the chromatic effect. And um, that means if we open now the Chrome browser, um, the phone is realizing this, it and uh, um, enable automatically the reading mode. Yeah, thank you so, so much uh, for watching this video. I hope I could give you some helpful uh, tips and tricks here for the phone, uh, for your start with the phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice uh, comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos, uh, also some other tips and tricks and so on for the phone if you're interested in or may just subscribe me. It would be really a pleasure to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.